so now see what we have tried to do here is uh, this uh, project right which you are now seeing is a folder right now this folder is tagged uh, to the see this is a docker container which we are running okay please understand this so this is a docker container which is running and this particular docker containers um, project folder right uh, is linked to the my project folder of the deep stream folder so you are trying to link both of these first so docker's uh, project folder and my project folder okay now uh, let us now try to see the video which is before the processing okay let us try to see the video yes so this is one video which we are going to use for processing okay so now let us start the deep stream app so now let us try to understand this uh, while running yeah so this is uh, when you run okay the deep stream app uh, to actually try to track okay and try to classify and do things on that particular video which we just now showed you okay now if you see here this particular thing this app is actually using all of this right and we infer gst and we infer all of this right and it has done some calibrations because we are using tensor rt here right so all of this and now this is getting processed so we have paused it for some time now see here the runtime commands if you see you can pause this and we will resume it now okay so if it, it is resumed right so app has been run successfully and now since we are using dockers okay if you also use these dockers what's going to happen is the immediate stream which we showed you right so what effectively happens is when you pause this or when you process it since i was telling that you are trying to work on dockers the whole live image stream what you are trying to process okay uh, is not visible because of this x server issues and all but it will get stored okay somewhere in uh, in your this thing right in your folder so we'll show you that as well now since it has been processed so if you see this uh, so this is processed and the images which are here yes so this is how it's being done so the initial video which we showed you okay is processed using this deep stream application for tracking and for classifying okay this and this we are done it on a discrete gpu right now this is only detection right now we will try to do only detection so this is the detection and now we will try to do the next example <clears throat> and we will show you the configuration files also afterwards but for the time being, just let's execute it and show you this. <coughs> so if you see here, GST NV tracker batch processing is off. Okay. So again, this is doing this uh, processing. And if you see here, this performance of the tracker tells us about the frames per second being processed and this is the average okay yeah so app yes so now no not this one yes so this is basically helping us to do counting also initially it was just detection of cars detection of people tracking them but now we are able to count also right 
so this is the next example which actually shows us how many cars have been tracked how many people have been tracked okay and their count and whatever right so this is how it's going to actually be used okay so now let us try to work when it is basically put on the inferencing thing right so so now let us try to do it on jetson tx2 So I'll try to do it on Jetson TX one, not two actually. Yes. So let's try to do it on this. Okay. So before we start, let me just show you the config files. No. Yeah. So if you see this, there is something which is this config file which actually helps us to configure things right so see what are you going to do the source image right number of sources then if you talk of stream marks right what would be my batch size what would be the output of the muxers width and height okay and then what is that model engine how is that tracker being used what is the size of the tracker the width as well as the height okay and whether you are going to use a tiled display or not okay so how is it going to be enabled or disabled what is the size of the osd right on screen display and then so what we are going to do is again we are going to see uh, the thing of how we are going to run the deep stream application right so this directory structure and all is very simple as to you will have to use the directory structure you will have to create a project uh, folder from various sources and then you basically have to configure all of this right and then uh, you can see the data folder test it and then as we showed in the previous example the same thing is going to happen so let's try to run it okay and see what basically happens okay so this is the same thing uh, let me just show you for this model also. Um, okay, so this is a YOLO model which we are using for the next uh, demo. There are two demos which we'll be showing, rather three demos which we'll be showing now. So this again has basically something which is uh, sync zero, sync zero in the sense the whole output when it's going to be shown, right? So how is that? what are the various things which you can use with okay so the h264 h265 uh, decoder encoder and all of that right values right so what type mpeg4 or whatever those containers how are you going to use it and all of these parameters you can actually just see okay we're not going into the details we'll show you the demo of the executions yeah so <clears throat> so what we are trying to do is now let me just increase the size of it one minute let me just increase the size of this one minute okay so now what we will show you is the demo of uh, object detection okay with basically detect net so let me just try to show you that yes so these are all configuration files again <clears throat> so 
So again, we are trying to work on FP16 mode. Intel not supported by the platform is a different issue. But yeah, this this is just to show you deep stream. Okay. So there are certain uh, things related to the TensorRT stuff wherein it is going to give you right the info about the memory requirement if it does not happen. Okay, so what is the pipeline running? Again, if you see the performance here, since it was running on a discrete GPU, now this embedded GPU. So this is the processing speed and this is the average processing speed with frames per second, yes. So let's now try to see the data or the video. So this is basically trying to see the output. We have tested it so many times. We'll just try to see. Yes, so this is captured like this because we are trying to run it through. Different types of uh, viewers as well as no. <coughs> this video, okay, so yeah. So let us try to now. demo of object detection um, wherein we can put in our own model also we'll try to show you this the third one yeah so this is what is that generally everything of will be of this type the any pipeline will be of this type right you have source you have stream marks you have this primary gie then tile display osd and synco right so yeah, so we will try to show you this fourth demo wherein we are trying to use our own custom model, which is YOLO V4. Okay, and then let us try to see how best we can do that. Okay, yes, so Yes. <clears throat> so let me just go there. Yes. <clears throat> so again, the same thing. We have not yet fully optimized it to int 8, but yeah, we are trying to work it in FP16 mode. So we are trying to put in our own model now. Okay. So again, if there are certain areas wherein this sufficient workspace memory is not available, right? And it will give you a warning, the tensorality thing that you can increase the workspace size, this, that, everything. And again, it's going to do this, okay? <clears throat> yeah, so now that application is run. I don't know why this gets struck so much. So now this is with our own model. 
which you have modified instead of the detect.net, we had put in the yolo.net on this and then do it. So now we will show you multi source uh, uh, input processing wherein you will get a lot of multiple inputs from various sources. Yeah. So one minute. I don't know there's something. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so Yes, so you will be able to appreciate this of multiple this thing. A bit slow. <laughs> Yes, so the only thing which I feel will not be able to show you, we can show it as a video or a snapshot because it is multiple images getting processed. So each of this particular thing which you are seeing here, okay, is for a specific tile wherein the input is getting processed. So I don't think that would be available. One minute, let me just open that and see if it's possible. On screen somehow. Let me just. Let me again try it if I can show you that. But we should be able to see that, no? Why am not able to see the GUI here? Just uh, we'll try to actually now Try to capture some snapshot and put it on the desktop from there. So I suppose uh, <clears throat> I'm done with it and <clears throat> 